This is a brief tutorial on how to use the FIRE scouting app as developed by Team 3138. All scouting is done via tablets, and the tablets are connected to a base, like a phone, via a Bluetooth hub and not Wi-Fi, as that is against competition rules. The app is internet-based and is not a downloadable software, and each tablet is labeled with the robot it scouts. For example, Red 1, B3, it just depends on which team you are looking at based on the field. Log in. Click the Fires bookmark on the home screen of the tablet. Click to log in and be sure to log in using your team's account and select the proper regional. When you log in, this dashboard will appear. The different symbols will take you to different parts of the app. Scouting. This screen displays a field where scoring data and other game data is input. The dashboard is a location that displays scouting data with charts and graphs as well as raw data. Pit scouting is the area for gathering information about the teams while visiting their pits and taking pictures. Admin console is for managing admin controls and most students will not be using this. And the pick list is used to sort and search teams and data based on defined criteria. After clicking scouting, you will be sent to this screen. Double check you are scouting the correct match and robot. Locate your robot on the field using the photograph shown. At the bottom of this page, you will see this menu. Select whether your robot is starting with a power cube and attempt to guess what the ending score will be. This is a simple game that will compare everybody's efficiency at guessing these scores once a match has begun, this screen will start up in autonomous mode. By tapping on the screen and selecting an action that occurred in that part of the match, outline their actions in autonomous. After 15 seconds, the upper left corner will turn from auto mode to offering the switch to teleop. If nothing is pressed, it will automatically change. At the end of the match, the upper left will again change to end match. When in a match, click on the map and select the action that occurred. Every action is automatically timed to file complete cycles. If a foul is called on an area, select the area on the field it occurred and tap Foul. A menu will appear displaying the most common fouls and select the one that applies. Any fouls not listed or called after the match can be detailed in post-match scouter's notes. Breakdown. If a robot stops working or stops being able to perform its activity, select where it happens and click break down. What occurred can be elaborated on in Scouter's Notes. If a robot is seen deliberately preventing another robot from performing its action or crossing the field, it is considered defending. Select where it applied and who they defended. Any additional information can be put in the Scouter's Notes. Actions. After you select an area, you then select the action performed there. As you can see, the actions are pick, throw success, throw fail, place, and drop. Pick is when a robot picks up a power cube. All pertaining actions are not able to be selected until the cube is used, and a cube is not able to be picked up until something is done with the prior cube. Throw success. The cube is thrown and lands on the switch or scale. A throw fail is when the cube is thrown and lands anywhere else but in the switch or scale. And a place is when the cube is successfully placed in the scale or the switch, it will default to being placed in the lowest possible position, but will give the option to change to high. For example, when you click place in the scale, in the history, it will say placed low, but the small place button will change to place high, and if they placed high, simply tap it again and it will change to place high. Once a robot has left their duties and has reached the point your team dictates as the beginning of climbing, hit start climb. A menu will appear asking if the robot climbed using a rung, it hung off a robot, or drove onto a ramp, and if it was a failure or a success. Any mistakes made can be removed from the data simply by pressing Undo Event. At the end of a game, if there is no successful hang, when the match ends, this will appear. 
If the robot slid or is not fully parked within the boundaries of the platform, select Attempted to Park. This appears after a match ends. Select all options that apply to your robot during that match. The large red button is used to add any post-match files called. Autonomous and teleoperated notes are any extra scouter notes or things that cannot be determined by the data. For example, if a robot tipped on its side, that could be noted. Or, if a team was defended and was not able to get around, as that cannot be input directly by the options prior, it can be noted here.